gonna go here for breakfast apparently it's just a 15 minute walk from the hotel yeah not bad not bad just a pack of ciggies across to Australia 50 bucks yeah it should be somewhere here The fish fin. Orange yogurt. Oh, no, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'll get a oh cassis orange or orange yogurt. I don't know what a cassis. Well, I mean it's alcoholic. Oh wait, it's alcoholic. Wait, is there anything that's non-alcoholic? So it's like a dish scrubber. I don't know what's inside. Oh. 
Yeah, sure. Get the 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 Okay. It's very sweet. The egg still comes through, but it tastes very different to normal egg. Yeah. All right. Very hot. It is very hot. I've got to be very careful. I don't know if this is, this is it's not a one biter, is it? No. Good. No. No, I like it. I think I like it more for the best reasons. Mm -hmm. This all over the place. They chop it up and it's like... Alright. You know, two Scott. varieties here. We've got um, scallop. Orange. Uh, but orange. it's from the one scallop. It's from the one scallop, yeah. Yeah. The media is different to the to the oyster and tuna fried very nice. I'm expecting Dorito dust flavor. How would you rate it out of ten? What? This orange good. Very gelatinous, jelly-like. A little bit sandy, but I think that might have to do with how all the scallop works. I get this is like you get a good four. Oh ah. my god, wait! To the third time, there's another different option. Very good. Which you can get from like department stores. Your man. This one's for you, Wolverine. got back can finally have these mochis that I've been carrying around past the um, consumption time but oh no they did give me nice this is everything I got so we've got a strawberry a mango a orange and melon very excited so they provide you with a string to cut the mochis with so we could get a beautiful cross section.
So let's give it a go. Which one should I have first? Maybe the orange. Mikan. I'm scared. I hope this cuts properly. It's very firm. Definitely a fresh orange. So you just tie it underneath. And pull. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I mean, I cut along a, what you call it, a thing. So this is what it looks like inside. not very fragrant I think maybe because mango isn't in season yet mm. so if you come in in June don't get the mango yet I think my favorite one would have to be the melon and then the orange and then the strawberry and then the mango. The date Saturday, 12.05, get there at 1.15, flights at 3.30, Haneda Airport, Terminal 1, perfect. Alright mate, what are we having for dinner tonight? I, I, I forgot what the restaurant was called, what was it called? Uh, Teppan Dining Soya, Saya. Teppan Dining Saya. Yeah, yeah but like, how did we come across this restaurant? The man on YouTube with multiple million subscribers. More like Paolo. your favourite YouTuber. He's up there, he's up there. His name is Paolo and is apparently from Tokyo and he tells us about all the good things that are in Tokyo and this is one of them and hence we're going there for dinner. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited.
2名様です。Made it up halfway through or a quarter through Japan. Nice. Nice. Second floor. Not as creamy as the 7 Eleven, but there's less like artificial edginess. It's the legend. Oh, it's trippy.
brother doesn't even know what he ordered go for it i think it's savory yeah 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 and then what's this karashi oh it is i'm gonna do it a bit more What is it? It's like a tangy soup. Oh, it's like a I have to help you pack as well. Yeah, we'll do that tonight. Door and back, she might have Hello everybody, so as promised I'm going to go through the story of how I almost got really sick at this hotel last time I stayed here. So this happened in uh, I believe the end of 2018 or the beginning of 2019. Um, Jeff and I came and we got one of the smallest rooms which was I think 14 square meters because yeah, we were just starting out working and we were on a budget, okay. So, <laughs> that room was literally tiny. Um, there was pretty much no walkway, nowhere to put your suitcases, open them up or do anything. So, we literally had clothes all over the bed, all on the little coffee table that um, was in the room. And yeah, it was just a pigsty. So, one day... Um, I think I was taking a nap and then Jeff went out for happy hour down the road um, I was like oh I need to drink a bottle of water and this is what happened so this is the air freshener bottle that was left in our room after I think the cleaners were um, cleaning our room um, so yeah this looks very much like the hotel um, bottle like the complimentary water bottles. So as you can see, black lid, clear plastic bottle, can be easily mis can be easily um, mistaken for a bottle of water. So anyone who's traveling to this hotel, always be careful. Um, so yeah, cause Elaine accidentally, she didn't swallow any, but it stayed in her mouth and obviously someone's not feeling very well right now. So, yeah, be careful. So, um, yeah, I didn't swallow the um, 
air freshener. Um, I just like, you know, drank it and I was like, ooh, why is it fizzing in my mouth? Ooh, why is it bitter? Ooh, why is it like got this weird taste to it? Um, and then, you know, I spat it out and I looked at the bottle and I was like, oh my god. But, um, you know, like when you spit it out, there's still like residual air freshener in your mouth and it goes down with your saliva. So, um, I think I probably did drink some of it. And yeah, like I was already not feeling too well from the trip. I think I got like mild food poisoning the day before from some salmon stuff. I discussed with Jeff and we we're just like, okay, look, what's happened has happened. It is what it is. Um, let's just take the bottle downstairs and just let the hotel staff know. And if I did get even more sick for ingesting the cleaning, um, the room freshener, a freshener um, if the hotel was able to cover the um, hospital expenses that's all we really wanted um, so then we took it down and then they were really apologetic which you know I appreciate and honestly we didn't want anything we just wanted to let them know and just to be careful next time in case there were young kids staying in these rooms like they wouldn't know either if I couldn't differentiate I don't think a kid could differentiate um, but yeah so in the end um, they compensated us with um, room upgrade from a 14 square meter room to a 21 square meter room. That extra six, seven square meters made a whole lot of a difference. We could open our suitcase, we could walk around, we could put our belongings on like an actual table because they could fit a table in that room, not like a round coffee table. And yeah, it was just a really, it was a really nice thing to just be upgraded <laughs> from a 14 square meter room. Um, they offered us breakfast vouchers and a dinner voucher and you know, like the hospitality here was just next level. Yeah, so this time when I came, I realized that they had changed the water bottles into these, yay. So, you know, maybe they you know, had other people in similar circumstances, but I think this is a really good idea. So yeah, that is a story of how I almost got really sick at this hotel and how the hotel really redeemed itself. Alright, here is an update of where my suitcase is right now. 831 kilometers away. And it's just across the road from my next hotel. Yay, it made it. Easy peasy, honestly. What am I going to do without an air tag now? Literally. Uh, two nights. One night. Also, this is an update on my Tamagotchi. It's been two days and it's still like a baby. I don't know why it's taking so long to evolve, but yeah, it's done a poop. How do I clean it? I think this one. All right, I just did a final sweep of the room and I think we're good to go. Thank you.